look how pretty the Santa beard is. He's got this gorgeous, like, translucent, sparkly beard. I mean, this tail was amazing. Like a, a pine cone tail. Oh. Colors of nutcrackers. Look at the doggy one. <laughs> this is Jen. It's sleepy squirrels. I hope that you're all well. So as you probably saw in the thumbnail, in the title, this is a shop with me Christmas video. So all the Christmas stuff is already out. We're now mid-November. I filmed this the end of October, so everything was already out. And I just went to stock many, which is like a um, discount shop where they have like um, overstock and things like that. And it was really fun. We got a few things for this year. Um, we are going for the nutcracker kind of theme. Um, so we just got a few little things to add to what we already have. We may need to go back out and get another few things once we like have a look at what we've got and, and everything and see what's missing. But for today, I'm just going to take you through the shop, through the aisles, and have a look at all the stuff that they have in France. Okay, let's get into it. Let me start off with the advent calendars. We have some men's products, some candles, there's like Miss Corp, which is I guess like a a budget makeup brand. We have Playmobil ones. I don't know which ones the kids are going to choose this year. Could be Playmobil. Probably Lego though. Um, yeah, and then going through to the tinsel. I do like tinsel as an object, but not to decorate with. <laughs> Some little baubles there. Little owl. There's a little nutcracker on them ones, some tree stars and random bauble mixtures, all the red ones together, red and gold, some big ones, they're huge. And then a little more like the greenery ones, I think these are probably prettier, but these I think are so pretty, aren't they so pretty? They're, they were very light. Not very dense, but I just think they just look so pretty. I think you could probably do a banister with them ones. Then we have some window stickers. I don't like window stickers. <laughs> they make me nervous that they're going to leave stuff behind. Look at that little elf. <laughs> little cutie. Little um, disco ball with a hat. The Santa. A little kitty. This little paw sticking out. They are cute. <laughs> Big bell. <laughs> Just looking at all the different baubles. That was cute. Like transparent, multicolored ones. I did actually get these ones. <laughs> the fast food ones. Probably um, why well, I got them because I think my son will like them. Um, I think we might have two trees this year, one for the kids and one for, like, the living room. Well, they both probably will be in the living room, but still. That one was an interesting texture. That white one we just saw, but... Just pop these in the basket. Oh yeah, I did get a tea advent calendar. I just realised this one in there. And my partner just brought me this cool, big bag. Like a shopper bag, but like a huge one for Christmas. So we grabbed that. <laughs> I'm shopping with my partner. And we had, look at the little dangly legs on this reindeer. I like it when they have the little dangly legs and arms. I don't know if you like that. The wooden ones. There's so many different baubles. <laughs> so, so many. We didn't get any baubles. 
Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do for the tree this year. I just know the kids are going to go all out on their tree. Um, and we're just going to pick like a, a theme. Look at this big, huge knot. I really wanted to get it. And then I was like, where would I put it? Like, it's too big for the tree. Because we'll probably have like a, a real tree for like the pretty one. And then, like, uh, the plastic tree will be for the kids to do whatever. But yeah, I just thought this was really cool. And I was thinking, like, ASMR-wise, it'd be cool to tap on, and then the texture at the top. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't get it. <laughs> you can see me, I'm like, what would I do with it? <laughs> yeah, so, little tree toppers, sparkly baubles. That was not, like, I went back to it. <laughs> Yeah, just being like, should I get it? Oh, Santa, look how pretty this Santa beard is. He's got this gorgeous, like, translucent, sparkly beard. And it's like, it's not a mask, it's just like to hang. I just thought it was really sweet. Isn't it sweet? Um, I didn't get it. I kind of regret it. I might go back. <laughs> See, again with the tinsel. I just love tinsel, but I just don't like decorating with it. I just think it's not that pretty. I guess you can figure out ways of doing it. Look at these pine cones. They're kind of like bluey green. I thought that was pretty. That Santa again. I kind of want that Santa. A lot of wreaths. I've never decorated with a wreath before. You know, like put it on your door or something. What are you guys doing for Christmas for your decoration? I'll probably do like a haul video that goes along with this um, so you can see which items we got a little closer and it'll be a nice tingly haul with all the sounds and the objects of course. So a lot of different wreaths. Some of them are really pretty actually. Oh I thought this was so sweet. They're like little dancers, little ballerinas. I think they're not glass, I think they're probably like plastic. But I just thought they were so sweet. If my daughter was younger, she really liked um, dance when she was younger. Not so much now. Not so much in the like ballerina style. If she was younger, I probably would have got these. Little icicles, little pine cones, and then we've got like the little um, figurines and the old display things that turn with music and stuff. We don't really have any of that kind of stuff. How cute are these birds? There's like little pine cone or bark instead of the feathers in squirrel, of course. I always look at every single squirrel, but they're not always cute. I mean, this tail was amazing, like a, a pine cone tail on a squirrel, but I don't know, the, the faces in the squirrels are not always cute. I mean, noticing that more and more since, you know, sleepy squirrels. Little gingerbread house, little broken reindeer. I tried to put it back on, but no, <laughs> there was no point. Just a lot of different things, like wooden sleighs, little decorations, some mistletoe, a little bell, little wooden decorations, all different types. And those ballerinas again. <laughs> And then just some random things like a bobble you can write someone's name on, but like with a a whiteboard kind of pen. It's a bit cheapy. Other little bobbles with sandats. A lot of the bobbles had sandats. A lot. Lots of tiny little bobbles. And those kind of like laser cut 
from wooden things different ones like that really you see a lot of those kind of things in markets and stuff pretty but it's not my my style but I did like this though this one still had the little um, pull out to test things so I didn't want to pull that out I wanted to see it lit up but I, I didn't want to ruin the battery for someone so I found another one and this one I turned all in with much difficulty how cute is that? I still think I should have got that just to like put up on the on the mantle or something it's pretty cute I like that little train too just so much stuff guys like this is just one shop it is jam packed little elf I'm just reminding my partner we need to think of ideas for this year for the elf on a shelf some more wooden decorations a little mailbox it's a very American mailbox though we don't have mailboxes like that French mailboxes are more like square boxes that are either on a post or built into the wall. Mine is built into the wall. All different kinds. Yeah, I always like, I'm so surprised by how much different, like, variety of decorations are there. And this little guy's pretty cute. And that one, little rustic. Decorations. Oh, that's so cute, the little bird. I forgot about him. He is very sweet. I think I did um, almost get him. <laughs> I was going to get two of them. That sweet little hedgehog with a little garden on its back. Some signs and posts to stick out in the garden. Telling Santa to stay here. There's the bags. <laughs> there was a green one too, but my partner made the right choice with the red one. And he told me there was a light up squirrel. I was like, yay. <laughs> I actually didn't get this um, because I was like, where am I going to put it? It's like an outside light. And I just don't think we're going to do outside decorations. We haven't got that far yet. <laughs> I think when we actually buy our own house, like our own home, we maybe will do that kind of thing, but yeah. I do put it back. I put it, I almost put it in there, like, and then I put it back. I'm like, no, oh, even though it's on sale. There's only two left. I'm looking at it longingly. <laughs> no different kinds. I like these, though, the little um, sugar cane. would be really sweet too, like along a path. And then we saw this cool train. <laughs> it's like a tree train. So I've seen like trains going around the bottom of a Christmas tree or around the room and stuff. It's very classic. But this is like in the Christmas tree. I was like, how does that work? Um, we just turned the box around. We figured it out. <laughs> so yeah, it like clamps into the post of the fake tree and then um, yeah we decided against it because it was like 30 euros and we're like do we need this um, but yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> we were debating on whether to get that does any of you um, does any of you do any of you have uh, a Christmas tree We might get them like a, a nice Christmas train one year. It's not this year. I wanted to see what this reindeer did, but none of them did anything. That was sad. It was pretty sweet. Very cute. I think my son is still young enough to enjoy that. And that guy just kind of pops out of the chimney. 
the rocking horses, sent on a rocking reindeer. And then here we have little gingerbread men and gingerbread women. And there's a kilted one. How cute is that? But I feel like the kilted one is a woman. Like this is a gingerbread woman. And then the gingerbread man has a little waistcoat. I don't know, I was going to get this just to have a little kilted <laughs> thing. I'm Scottish, so that's why. I guess you don't actually follow me. But yeah, I was debating whether to get a few of these. I might decide it against it because we hadn't decided what this year's theme was going to be. And then we came across the nutcrackers. <laughs> little horsey one and then these ones which we should have got and I think we might go back and get these nutcrackers for the tree and then there are all different sizes and themes and colors of nutcrackers look at the doggy one <laughs> I tried to use this little mouth thing but it just wasn't it didn't look great you can see it kind of looks just a bit a bit off. <laughs> Sounds a bit better, but still, it doesn't look like it's chin because it's not fluffy. It's weird. Some Santa, some elves, and then all these huge nutcrackers. This is the moment we decided we were going to do nutcracker theme. And we didn't actually buy any nutcrackers. So we're going to go back um, and decide which ones we want once we thought about. So we might just get two large, look at the pear ones, how oh, sweet that um, is. We might just get two large nutcrackers for either side of the tree or either side of something. And then have the little nutcrackers in the tree and go for the, like the red and gold and black um, theme, like color scheme. I think that's probably I mean, they're probably not the best quality nutcrackers, but honestly, for the price, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's just so many of them. I do like the teddies, though. And then these elves, these are like little musician elves. I just thought they were so sweet. Look at those faces. They're just so, like, sweet and innocent looking, aren't they? Reindeer, long-legged Santas, more traditional ones. Yeah, I went back and I was like, yeah, I think we're gonna get these. And then we were like, let's just go and look some images online first and decide and we'll come back. Because this was still like the end of October, not even the end, like mid to end October. long-legged kind of um, gnome Santas. Then these more kind of traditional ones. I was like, what are these made of? I don't think they're like wooden, you know, they're all plastic and stuff, but they were so pretty cool. They look nice, little fur, fur trimmed coats and stuff. That's sweet. Yeah, I was checking, do they even have legs or are they just sticks? <laughs> larger ones down there. They do look very sweet, <laughs> like his little fur boots. Some polar bears, little deer, little baby mama, little papa I guess. This one is very sweet. a lot of different things. I just thought everything was so fun. Squirrels. These ones I did get though. Because these ones had cute faces. <laughs> it's all about the faces when you're talking squirrels, I feel like. And these ones were sweet. And since they're Christmas tree hanging things, 
this one was sweet too, but it just was looking more like a chipmunk, so I just grabbed two of the squirrel ones. Um, I think I put this one back because he had like a little white thing on his forehead that I couldn't uh, just brush off, so I just grabbed a different one. Those deer are cute too. So two little squirrels. And then yeah, just looking at some of the light. We just, um, they're like little reindeer. It's cute. So candy canes, sugar canes, whatever you'd like to call them. Some baby stuff, like my first Christmas kind of stuff. For the lights, we just go for a nice, a uh, warm toned white. Some blonde. Little ski and Santa. they're really well done. Like, I'm sure they're not great quality, but for what they are and the price and everything, I think that's so nice. Little car boppers. I think that's just like a baby's rat or probably spins around or something for kids. Little welly boot. Oh, this we got. I thought this would be cool to go with the um, Nutcracker theme, because you always think of like England. British style. That's like a British style letterbox, like a communal one, not the one for everyone's house. So I thought that would be sweet. Um, and I figure we won't be able to get that everywhere, so I grabbed that um, on the day. So yeah, I figured nutcrackers you can get everywhere, but that, um, might as well get it. Just looking through it's like like a nutcracker, <laughs> but with a bauble, a furry bauble. wasn't really <laughs> what we were going for, but they were fun. They were fun. Some woolly ones, different mailboxes, some sand has to hang, some socks. And some table centerpieces. I figure I can make them, <laughs> but then like I just won't. So maybe one year I'll buy one of those kind of centerpiece things. The snow globes, the lantern snow globes. Thought that was cute, like a letter. You can post your letter to Santa in it. projectors and lights and stuff. Like I said, for the, the Christmas lights, I like them ones. <laughs> the like warm toned white. So yeah, that is everything that I have to show you this evening. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it relaxing and fun to come shopping with us. Um, I did one for Halloween, so I have already done a, sh a shop with me video, um, and I did this Christmas one, but of course, um, I do a lot of them on my other channel, but thrifting and carpet sales and stuff. But if you guys like this kind of seasonal shop with me kind of thing, I'll try and do it for like all the different seasons, like Christmas, Halloween, Easter, and then maybe throw in a few random Okay, so if you're looking for any extra content from me, feel free to pop over to my Patreon for three euros per month. You get access to over 100 ad free Patreon exclusive videos that are already there. You get to give suggestions for videos, take part in polls, early access to certain videos, horoscopes, birthday shout outs, 
sleepy shout outs at the end of the videos. We have a book club, lots of fun stuff. So, yeah. Otherwise, just watching my videos, subscribing, liking the videos, commenting. And if you made it to this part of the video without falling asleep, <laughs> I know. If this video was specifically, like you put this video specifically on to fall asleep, I hope that you are already asleep, of course. But if this was just for relaxation, or you just wanted a cozy little video, and you made it to this part of the video, I would like you to comment a Christmas tree emoji. by itself. That's fine. I'll know. Okay. So, I hope that every single one of my sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around find your own little bubble of calm For example, if you are in the Netherlands like my lovely, lovely patron Brissa Hey Brissa, I hope you're well Thank you for all of Have a lovely, lovely